Yes, well, I, I mean, there is quite a lot of optimism amongst our people. I mean, I was there myself knocking on doors 10 days ago, actually before the uh, eruption of uh, feeling around these Christmas parties. And even then, it looked pretty good. I mean, there was um, quite a lot of negativity about the government. Uh, and I think to the extent that people, people had consolidated their alternative, they were... Uh, clustering around us. A lot of it had to do with the, the fact that we had a good local local candidate. Um, and that seemed to weigh with people. Uh, and as you rightly said in your introduction, uh, the bookmakers have now got us as favourites and they stand to lose money if they get it wrong. So um, their views are probably more accurate than what like, we're likely to come up with from our own uh, partisan standpoint. Well, there you go. The Lib Dems, to be fair, are very good on the local doorstep, aren't they? Edwina, I'll come to you next. Now, this seat has been considered, could be considered anyway, a really good bellwether for how much sleaze or Christmas parties or you know, allegations of jobs for the boys type stuff has actually really cut through with people. Do you think it will have had an impact? Well, I suspect that uh, Vince and I would probably agree on two things. The first is that the biggest boat on Thursday in, uh, in North Shropshire is going to be none of yous. Uh, and the odds are that the, uh, the highest proportion of vote will be people who don't turn out at all. Yeah, it is a constituency that doesn't have a high turnout. It's usually about a third of the voters don't vote anyhow. Um, and the second thing we can probably agree on is that the Labour Party is going to do quite badly. Um, they came second last time. I can't see that happening uh, this time at all. Uh, and um, it's going to be a continued problem for uh, the leader of the official opposition in Parliament. 